The Fault Prophet Hunter, the series. Let's get to it. Welcome everyone to a brand new series. This is the debut of a brand new series on my channel, The False Prophet Hunter. Welcome to episode one entitled The Hidden, The Eyes Have It. Now, if it were not for the following channels, um, True Child of Jesus Christ and End Time Prophecy News Channel, there wouldn't be any reason to have this series. But as promised, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get into episode one of The False Prophet Hunter. Episode one The Hidden, the Eyes Have It. Now, I am going to be as gentle as I can. I'm going to do this quickly as I can. And for the very first in the series, I'm going to show you, rather than bring someone forward and expose them, I'm going to show you some red flags and warning signs to look out for. Let me take you to scripture very quickly, and then I'm going to share something with you. Matthew 6, 22 and 24 the eye is the lamp of the body you draw light into your body through your eyes and light shines out to the world through your eyes so if your eye is well and shows you what is true then your whole body will be filled filled with light but if your eye is clouded or evil then your body will be filled with evil and dark clouds and the darkness that takes over the body of a child of God who has gone astray that is the deepest darkest darkness that there is now when jesus speaks of eyes and light he means all people should keep their eyes on god because the eyes are the windows of the soul i should not focus on trash pornography filth or expensive things and this is what he means when he says where your treasure is there your heart will be also some warning signs some red flags uh, to look out for it we are in the end times and so many well-meaning brothers and sisters are seeking answers and there are just so many on youtube that claim to have a word from god and claim to have the gift of prophecy and it's very very difficult because prophecy is real prophecy is alive in the world today there are people on youtube but I know have the gift of prophecy and they have a word, a message from God to deliver. But with the multiple, multiple channels, YouTube is just a cesspool of false prophets. Jesus warned us of the false prophets, prophets in the end days. And it's so difficult to weed through the multitudes of people putting out videos claiming to have the gift of prophecy. Like I said, it's a cesspool out there. Number one warning <laughs> has nothing to do with the hidden or uh, the eyes have it. Number one warning, if they claim to be Christian and they go on other Christian channels and they use the vulgarity as we just read, uh, profanity, obscenities, what you do right then, you need to look no further. You know they are not of God. They are of the darkness. Give them the boot. Now, quickly, I received a, a wonderful message from a subscriber uh, just the other day. that seen a video that I did uh, some time ago where I explained that I have the gift of discernment, of discerning spirits. I can see a person that has a demonic possession, and it's usually more than one. It's more than one uh, attached to a person that I'd be walking down the street, and they would know that I knew these demons were within and they would cross over to the other side and this goes way back to when I was a very very young boy and uh, I, we're not going to get into all of that now I did a video on this on my channel and uh, how this happened uh, during uh, church with my grandmother 
And since then, I'm able to discern if a person is under uh, a demonic possession. And they were mentioning that they feel that they have the same gift of discernment, of discerning uh, evil spirits. But you can tell by the eyes, and indeed you can, and they mentioned a person with brown eyes. It's a person with brown eyes, it just stands out. But it also, along with a person that may have green eyes or blue eyes, but when you look into that person's eyes, when the entity that has entered in is uh, upset and agitated, the eyes become black. And you can see like a thin, thin red around the outer portion of the eye, but the eyes become black. And that may be a person you know, a person, uh, a friend, or a person that uh, you love. And you know that is them, but when you look into the eyes, if you have the gift of discernment, you know that's not. There's some. There's someone else. There's something else in there. Number one red flag that I use, if I and there are so many on YouTube uh, giving prophecies. Number one, if they're using filthy language, they're not of God. If you never see their face, if they are giving prophecy, and something that you want to have a warning, a sound go off. They're given prophecy, a word from God, a message or a warning, but you have no idea what they look like. And for example, I exposed this person some time ago with, uh, we all remember, the rapture kitty. No one ever seen her face. Now there is a reason. I spent a lot of years working uh, in, in a very popular hospital in Michigan, and first I was part of the um, life flight, the helicopter survival flight team, and later I headed up, up the physical management team uh, where we would restrain patients that are under psychiatric care uh, with mental health issues. And uh, now, now quite a few uh, legitimately were depressed or had some mental health issues, but many are misdiagnosed and they have a form of demonic possession and you can tell by looking into the eyes and also now many in law enforcement and many psychologists and psychiatrists will read a person's mannerisms their facial expressions uh, are they brushing their hair and they look into the eyes to see if this person is telling the truth warning sign if someone is on YouTube and you never see their face I just give them the old boot you can't look into their eyes what do they have to hide maybe they are not of God maybe they don't want you to read their face maybe you know a lot of people tune in on YouTube a lot of people in law enforcement in the uh, uh, psychiatric field and the psychologist that know how to tell if a person's telling the truth and if they know they're not telling the truth Number one red flag is you're not going to put your face out there. Number two, they delete comments. I'm going to show you in closing just an example of a, of a couple. I'll be right back and then we'll close. All right, now quickly in closing, just for an example, just to show you what I'm talking about, uh, I had mentioned uh, the rapture kitty. And here you see her. You never see her face in any of her videos. And here she's wearing a donkey mask. And let me share one more with you. It's from one of the people on the list. That the reason for making this video. I'll be right back. All right, again, a red flag that I have always used. If I can't see the person's face, I can't watch their facial expressions. Uh, I can't look into their eyes. I give them the boot. Give them the boot. Now, this is End Time Prophecy News Channel, and here you see Speaker. Discover more on WorldWideWeb.Speaker.com, and in all of the videos, you never see her face. You have no idea what she looks like. You can't look into her eyes. You can't watch her facial expressions. In this video, it came out today, rebuke to false prophet, Pastor Dave of Young's. And she's calling me a false prophet, and for... <laughs> If you follow my channel, I've never, ever claimed to be a prophet at any time. I do not have the gift of prophecy. I've never claimed to be a prophet. 
And uh, there's a part in the video where she says that she was given confirmation a vision from God where she seen me sitting on a table surrounded by bottles of alcohol and counting large sums of money. In closing, here's another to watch for. Or another red flag. Comments are disabled for this video. They always disable the comments. The darkness fears the light. Stay tuned. Hopefully there won't be any more in this series, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure the darkness will sneak back out and more attacks will continue and this series will continue. Leave me comments. God bless you today.